video, I am going to make a loft um, and I'm going to do a bunch of stuff in this realm with the offset plane. I'm going to make a loft um, that resembles um, when you take a piece of thin pipe or conduit and you smash the end to make it flat so you can drill a hole in it and bolt it on something or something along those lines. So um, the first thing I want to do is turn on my origin um, and then uh, get, I'm going to pick the bottom plane. This to me seems the most logical. I'm going to create a sketch and then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do a circle and I'm going to do a center diameter circle um, <clears throat> and then I'm going to say that that diameter is 1 and return. Now I'm going to say I'm going to finish the sketch. That's simply the di outer diameter of my pipe. And um, that's kind of aggressive. Anyway, we get this back down here. Now I'm going to make an offset plane here. So I'm going to go to construct and offset plane. And you can see what it does there in the picture. <clears throat> and then I'm going to say that this loft is going to take place over uh, two inches. So I select the the oops I select the plane um, escape sorry about that offset plane I'm gonna select that plane and then I'm, that that tells where the origin is of the plane and then I'm gonna say the distance you can do two object but in this case it's not applicable and here I'm gonna just put in two now I have this plane and I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to make a sketch on here. And I'm going to say top, because I want to see that other sketch down here. But I am up in the air above it, so to speak. So now I'm going to make a, um, I'm going to make, bit confused about why I don't where my grid went. I don't think it matters that much. Well, I sure would like it. Hmm. I hit escape here. And I'm gonna kind of get back in business here. Sorry for that crappy part there. I'm gonna create a sketch there. Aha! Somewhere I didn't. I guess I didn't hit create a sketch or something. Just moved it. Anyway, here I'm gonna make a rectangle that is kind of a little bit longer than the diameter of the circle and on the edge of it. And, you know, I'm, again, trying to do something that would be similar to when you smash um, a pipe down. And it will get a little bit, it will definitely get thinner and it will get a, bit, a little bit wider than the diameter. So I'm going to go here to box and then I'm going to come in here. I'm going to come up here. Two things above that, then I'm going to see what that says, 1.4 and by 2, I'm going to call that um, good, I'm going to hit return, and return, um, all right, now it's blue and I'm going to try to uh, get this to all be black, I'm going to have to put in some dimensions from a point that I put over here. So I'm going to, um, first I'm going to put the point in there. Then I'm going to create this. Another way, maybe a better way to do this is to put in a couple of um, construction lines. Over here. And take dimensions from those. On the axes. All right. So now I can hit D for dimension. And I'm 
bring that out and I click that and we see that it's not exact and I think that's a lot of your blue issue there. So now I'm going to um, do the same thing down here to there. I'm just going to say, oh, okay, I'm going to cancel that. And then I'm going to go from here to here. Let's see if this over constrains it. Nope. I really didn't want that. So that's good though. I'll show you that you can edit it. 0.5 return. And I don't know what else we can do here. So I'm going to call it good enough. A lot of times I can't seem to get these things. So when I practiced this, it was good. <laughs> now it's not. This program drives it crazy sometimes. I'm not great at it. Just kind of good enough. All right. Now let's see if we can get a loft here between these two things. I think we can. So I'm going to go to create. And um, we're going to go to loft here. You can kind of see what we're trying to do there in the picture. Then I'm going to go here and then go right up here and select that. And we see, aha, bam, it does it. And I'm going to say, okay. All right, now I'm going to make this more, look more like a pipe with a flattened end. I'm going to pretend like this has been smushed all the way and this was just the part where it uh, was coming down to that. Probably not going to look nearly that nice. Anyway, I'm going to hit E for extrude. Gonna bring that up one inch. And that looks weird. I definitely want to say OK. Then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say, I'm going to call this E for extrude. So like that, it's going down a good 24 inches in return. And that looks weird too, but if we bring this all kind of down, let's see, that's not the best picture of it. You can kind of see what we have there. All right. Let's get rid of the origin. And, you know, you could fill at the edges or chamfer the edges or whatever you want there and that would probably make it a little bit more accurate better looking but anyway that's close enough to get the point across um, as far as a pipe that's been hammered down flat <laughs>